I want to turn my back against that because you never know what could happen. I can kind of turn my back to this because it's a great view for y'all. And, you know, that's what's about giving y'all the best view. That's why I hate GoPro so much. Shit was on slow motion the whole damn time. So let's redo that. Uno. If y'all don't know who he is, check out Uno's uh, Uno 707 on YouTube. Um, he's going to be on one of my videos coming up soon. We're planning a, a backpacking uh, weekender, so to speak. It's not a weekend warrior because it's going to be a Sunday, Monday, but that's going to be in two weeks. This isn't a tripod, so I got to figure out how I want to set this down that's gonna be edited out thoughts of a gemini So, decide to move a little bit. I'm right here. Give y'all the thoughts of a journey right here. So, here we go. All right, so, let me ask y'all a question. And I'm about to talk about the virus. So, those of you that's all about take a shot take a shot go ahead and take a shot fair enough be on slow motion right, good. let me talk to y'all real quick um so I was thinking a lot the past few days about this virus, the, the coronavirus pandemic, the shot, and then the era we live in to where era was when I was being raised and the era that I read about from my grandparents and, or my parents, my grandparents and beyond, like that era. And it's like, it's, it's sad to see what this new generation and what the future generations is turning into when it comes to um, building something for themselves. Like, a lot of these kids nowadays just want stuff given to them. And I, I don't, I mean, I don't have kids, so, you know, I can't really get on that. I mean, I've helped raised a child before, which is my niece, who's now 20. That's my baby girl, and I love her to death. But um, that's the only experience I have when it comes to parenting. And when my brother was overseas, I, I was doing a lot for my niece. That was my baby girl, and to this day, she will always be my baby girl. Um, but the way I look at today's generation is sad. Like, pretty soon they're going to be giving championship trophies to last place. What do I mean by that? You get participation, you get participation trophy for just <coughs> being on a team. It's like hard work there should be a huge reward, you know? And it doesn't always have to be money. It could be, cut myself. It could be anything. But you look at today's era and you look at the way people are and you look at, I think I've said this in another video, like I feel like today's era is extremely sissified. And what do I mean by sissified? This pandemic to me is a huge example of a sissified era somebody was like you should take the shot you know the shot helps you not 
or it helps you prevent it help prevents you from getting the coronavirus and a lot of things i'm hearing about this shot is about an individual which will be you me or whoever it'll be you yet i i ran to somebody at the store today and she said she took the shot and she just got done she just got over having the coronavirus for the second time and that's not the first time i've heard somebody taking a, the anti or there i go thinking resident evil that's not the second time that i've heard somebody take a shot and then get sick again and this lady was talking about since she's had a coronavirus for a second time, she's having hot flashes, a lot of hot flashes. And I met another lady not too long ago that said since she had a coronavirus for the first time, this one, I don't know if she took the shot or not. Yeah, she did take the shot. But this one was saying, ever since she had coronavirus, she has a lot of hot flashes. And then I met other people that said they took the shot and still get coronavirus. So I'm like, what's the point of getting this damn shot? So, so you won't spread to other people. Well, first of all, you're getting it twice. I've never got it. But then again, I'm not around a lot of people. I don't work customer service. The people I work with, it's the same people. We rarely have visitors. I mean, I work with truck drivers too, but I mean, I doubt they're going out walling out with hella people. <coughs> But all the same, I feel like this is a thing of control. The pandemic, shutting down the economy, shutting down the world. Having the media talk so much and hype this, this, this virus up so much. Where, and don't get me wrong, I'm not a Trump supporter, but I feel like Trump had a a valid point of saying it's not as big as what the world is making it be okay yeah people's dying but show me somebody that actually died from the coronavirus and not from some pre-existing health issue show me that i want to see somebody just like how somebody can die from aids it'll say what type of hiv uh uh whatever they died from somebody died from cancer it'll tell you what type of cancer they died from or what types of cancer they died from somebody died from a heart attack it'll, you, you'll see it you know diabetes high blood pressure stroke all that stuff it is classified of how that person died show me a classification of somebody actually dying from the virus itself somebody catches pneumonia it shows it is classified they died from pneumonia and it shows it everything backs itself up not they had diabetes and their blood sugar is so low and we just can't keep it up and da 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 they died from pneumonia I'm scared of pneumonia I've had it seven times and every time I get it it always was worse so I'm scared of pneumonia I've never had the flu. For some reason, the type of asthma I have, I skip the cold and flu and go straight to pneumonia. No, I've never had the flu shot. I've never had the pneumonia shot. Mainly, the reason why I haven't had pneumonia shot because most people, most people that had the pneumonia shot that I've spoke to that had pneumonia, and had to take that shot or do whatever they did at the hospital with it, it's killed them. So I'm scared of the pneumonia shot. I'm scared. Or I'm scared of pneumonia because I've had it, and and when your body's that weak, man, I I, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm I'm a power lifter. I'm an athletic person. I'm strong. My body is strong. I'm physically strong. When you are so weak, where you can't even walk. Where you came and left up some water and drink your and drink your own little Dixie cup of water, that's serious. So, show me a classification. Show me a direct 
this person died from COVID. You can't. I haven't seen it. Maybe, maybe, maybe somebody has. But I guarantee you that number is about a thousand times or a hundred thousand times less than the numbers that they've shown on television or social media. Y'all can talk as much as you want about he's wrong. You don't know what he's talking about. Trust me, pre-existing illnesses. Check it out. But it's control. It's, it's a control thing and to me it shows me how how sissified today's era is. Go get your shot. You got the president wants to make it mandatory for people to get the shot. They're talking that you can't leave the country or travel unless you get the shot or unless you test negative. I mean, it's like... I don't even know how to explain it, y'all. Like, it's, it's crazy to me how it's always something where the government or there's always something to where they're trying to put fear on us, the people. And the reason why they're becoming more and more successful is because we're living in an era, and I'm, I'm only speaking on the U.S., speaking on the US because I don't know how it is in other countries. I've been to other countries that seems so much more tougher than the US, but I'm speaking on the US. We live in an era that everything, everybody wants stuff handed to them. Or we live in an era where fear is extreme. I'm out here by myself. There is not a living, well, I don't know about a living soul, but there is not a human presence anywhere around me and watch somebody go walking by but there's not a human body anywhere I'm by myself I'm two and a half hours on I am I'm sorry I'm not two and a half hours I am 86 minutes away from my car like and a lot of people's going to be like I can't believe you do this by yourself well, look at all the through hikers that are hiking the AT right now, or the the PCT right PCT PCT right now, or that's hiking the Colorado uh, divide, or not the Colorado divide, uh, the the CT the CDC CTD whatever, the Connell Divide Trail. Now look at all the people that's hiking over in uh um wow in Canada right now by themselves and it's like y'all talking about being scared the only thing I'm worried about here is bears because it's bear season if you catch me out here in the winter I'm not worried about none maybe mountain lions not even but I'm not worried don't get me wrong I am scared of bears because I don't have bear spray on me. That's why I'm a little fear right now because I have no form of defense outside of a, a seven and a half, eight, seven and a half or eight inch blade. That's it. And a bear has to get close for me to get him. So if he has to get that close, the bear got me. But I'm saying all this to say, we live in that type of error. And it's sad. And to me, it's only going to get worse. Because don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. For my niece, I will do whatever I can for her. And if I ever have children, I will do whatever I can for them. But there's a difference between caring for them and babying them. Or caring for them and having them be dependent on other things. That's the difference. And I wasn't really like, I don't know how to say, I'm, I'm going to get real personal here. So 
here. Y'all about to know a little background about me. I grew up in the same household as my dad, but when it came to being a man, he didn't explain to me a lot of things that I needed to know. I learned from what I saw outside of the love and the affection. I wasn't shown that as a man. I wasn't shown how to love somebody as a man. I was shown how to provide and protect and keep a roof over their head. That's what I was shown. I wasn't explained on how to do that. I was just seeing him come home. I was seeing him and my mother pay bills. I was seeing him having arms in the house. I was seeing that. And then from other people, like my little brother, um, his, his, his parents, his dad showed me love. As an adult though, when I got older, I saw how he, you know, showed love to, to Mama Valerie and everything. They showed me that. But as a child, and for 17, 18 years of my life, the one father figure, or the one father, my dad, didn't show me that. My brother showed me that, but he showed me that on another level. Not as a father level, but you know, he showed me, hey, we, we're, we're, we're out here to love people too. So I'm saying that to say, I'm, I said that to say that it's okay to show somebody love but it's not okay to have that person rely or fully depend on somebody else to do everything for them. Like if I'm in a relationship, I don't want to do everything for my significant other, my girlfriend, if I ever get married and a wife, you know, I don't want to do everything. I want to make sure that they can work because if anything happens to me, I want to know that they will be okay. Doesn't matter how much money you get on my life insurance. Oh, yeah. We got life. That, wow, okay. I can't wait to get a truck. But, you know, I, I want to show somebody, or I, I want, to be there for that person. I want to give them advice. I want to, I want to, whoever I end up with, I'm single right now, whoever I end up with, I want to help them level up in life. Just like how I hope that they want to help me level up in life too. Like, I love having fun, but I'm always business first and then everything else later. Unfortunately, even if I'm not on the clock, when it comes to somebody telling me about their bills, their living situation, what they want, you know, they want this, they want that. Well, do you want it? I mean, I know you want it, but do you need it? You know, there's that. And don't get me wrong, as a fellow backpacker, and I'm about to bust all y'all backpackers, hikers, weekend warriors out. I'm about to bust all y'all out right now. We don't need more than half the gear we have. I have, how many hammocks do I have? I have over seven hammocks. I don't need them all. Some are different lengths. Some are double. Some are single. Some are with a bug net. The one I got with me in that bag, no bug net. Um, um, some comes with the whole tarp lineup. Some is just a sleeping bag quilt, whatever. I don't need that many hammocks. I don't need that many backpacks. I got a lot of backpacks. And I got a lot of uh, the 60, uh, 50, 60 liter backpacks to go for an actual through hike or to go at least for like a, a 100 mile hike or, you know, something like that. Multi day, not just a, a weekend warrior like my Teton. But, well, Teton makes a lot of bags, but I have a, I don't even know what it's called right now, but I got a little Teton day bag or, you know, overnight bag, a weekend warrior bag. But I don't need it all. 
Um, I have multiple GoPros. I don't need multiple GoPros. I had my DJI, which was my main camera. I don't need it at all that stuff. I wanted it, but I didn't need it. And with that, now I'm trying to become a minimum, a minim, minimum, minimumistic. I can't say that word right now, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Where it's like, okay, now it's time to let go of a lot of this. And that's going to be a challenge. I have a lot of clothes that I ain't even touched in a long time. But there's a difference between wants and needs. Like, me personally, I want to trade in my vehicle because I feel like to fit my lifestyle and what I do, I need all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, SUV or truck. I want a WRX, a WRX STI. I want that, but do I need it? No. I need a truck because it fits my lifestyle. Paddle boarding, um, camping, you know, when I get another bicycle, bicycle, when I get another motorcycle, I'm gonna need it just in case I need to go get new tires. I can, I can uh, haul my bike, all this and the other. There's a difference between wants and needs. You know, I don't need trail runners to go hiking. These aren't trail runners. I don't even remember what brand these are, but these are some cheap Amazon brand. I don't need the best uh, PFD when I go on a paddle board. I don't need that. Don't get me wrong, it's nice to have, but I don't, I don't even think I have, I don't know, whatever. But I'm just saying that. I need to make sure I have food in the refrigerator. I need to make sure the bills are paid. I need to make sure that their power is running, which I need to hurry up and pay PG&E. That reminds me. But I need to make sure my credit is high. I need to make sure that I am financially stable. I need to make sure that the people I love is doing good. That's what I need to do. Also, I want to do that too. But I'm saying now all to say is we're in a generation where it's like people are just weak and they're relying on everything but themselves. They're putting blame on everything but themselves. One thing I want, want to do is a PCT trail. If I was laid off last year, well, never mind. I wasn't laid off last year. I broke my I broke my neck and my spine last year. But if I didn't do that, if I wasn't in the industry to where I wasn't needed, I'd probably try the PCT trail last year. Or, you know, something. Uh, side jobs, I would have learned a new trade. I would have done something to educate myself so I continue to build because I've been in the same trade for 14 15 years so I need to learn something else well I'm just saying I'm not I'm not the type of person that likes anything that has to deal with handouts I'm not I believe in hard work I believe hard work pays off that's the stuff I believe in y'all are disagreeing me if y'all disagree with me tell me why you're disagreeing please leave a comment tell me why you're disagreeing thumbs up and leave a comment let me know what you feel how you feel about it i'm not downing people that has no choice not you know that's dis or that's disabled i'm not downing people that you know are struggling actually finding a job i'm, I'm downing people that wants to depend on a system or on somebody else that that wants a partici a partition participation participation trophy for not doing nothing. That's what I'm down in. I'm gonna be losing sunlight pretty soon, so I have to get back to the car.
This is Thoughts of a Gemini. I'm not really giving all my thoughts because even though this is a good hike, I didn't find a place where I want to put down the, the hammock and really talk to y'all. And then I thought about the sand tripod. So, yeah. Enjoy the view. It's Calistoga. San Alinas, Rockefeller, I think that's how you say it. It's time to get back to the car and head out. There's a sunset paddle that's going to be going on. I don't know if I'll be able to make it six something right now. We'll see if I can make it. All right, it's time to go. I'm starting to lose sunlight, so. Get back to the car and head on home. It's your boy True. If y'all haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you love the outdoors, or even if, if or even if you like the outdoors, like the video, share the video, get out there and enjoy God's beauty. Enjoy God's creation. Cause this is what it's about. Yeah, don't get me wrong, city life is all right, but there's nothing better than getting out there and doing this. Whether you're by yourself or you bring friends, and trust me, with friends, it's a lot more funner. Well, it depends on how you do it. Like, I like doing this by myself, but with the friends I do have that do go out, I have fun with them too. Family, definitely do this with family. If you have a girlfriend, spouse, or wife, whatever kids take your kids out take your family out do this it's a blessing y'all it's definitely is a blessing it's your boy true true gemini it is currently gemini season water goes all the way down but I think the spring was over here you just smell life out here like it smells amazing I love it just take it in love it. God bless y'all deuces Thank <laughs>